Remember when you were a kid, you would just do things. You would never think to yourself how it would necessarily affect you. You would just ride down the slide, play soccer on the turf, stack rocks, ask silly questions, look at birds, whatever caught your interest. And nobody told you to do it. And you know, the beautiful thing was, you were only led by curiosity and excitement. You either liked it or you didn't. There was no bullshit, no guilt, no pressure. Life was simple. Patiently waiting on my dreams to come true. Hoping and praying one day that they do. Oh, I don't know how and I don't know when. Just patiently waiting till then. I think it's very unreasonable to be expected to have most of your life figured out at such a young age. Towards the end of my senior year of high school, I received what may have been the 108th question asking what I wanted to do with my life. Of course, I answered, but I lied. Why? Because I had no fucking clue. I knew if I'd been honest with my mom and told her how I truly felt, I'd be lectured as to why the military is such a great option, why being a doctor and lawyer can keep you financially comfortable. But there were things that I did know. It's what I didn't want to do in my life. These three being a pretty good example. Now, if I didn't know what I wanted to do, didn't know where I wanted to go, how was I going to find out? It's simple. Well, kind of. I tried. If there's one thing that's helped me figure out what I wanted to do is that I tried everything. Anything that piqued my interest, I tried it. If coding looked cool, I tried it. If starting my own business was the move, I tried it. If mopping floors for the university seemed like the coolest thing I've ever thought of in my life, I would try it. The only way I ever figured out what I wanted to do was to try. I never in a million years would have thought I'd be doing anything related to cameras, let alone making a living out of it. And here I am, sitting in front of one, creating projects solely because I love making them. Let me put it this way. Jobs and passions are like jeans. You're just gonna have to keep trying them on until you find the perfect fit. Unless you decide to give up on jeans and jobs like, and then, well, shit. And it's okay if you still don't know, cause that's the whole point. Not knowing. That's the whole fucking point. All of life is like this, and I mean all of it. It's about not knowing, but doing something anyways. Now, if I gave you an option between two different paths, which one would you choose, the left or the right? If you still don't know, what if I told you that it didn't fucking matter? These paths lead to experiences regardless of which road you take, good or bad. And I believe experiences are one of, if not the most important things in life. And I really stress the experience part. Because who knows when something is going to click with you. Maybe finding a hobby and getting involved. Making friends with people who have interests in common. Maybe finding someone special could help you find what you want in your life. And I don't care if you're 22, 32, or 42. It's okay if you're still figuring it out. And if some random boomer tells you otherwise, well, they can go fuck themselves. Because, you know, it's, it's not their life. It's yours. Now, just because I found what I love doing, there's still a lot that I'm figuring out. Where I want to settle down, how I can create amazing work, eating a better diet, I mean, the list goes on. And even though I love what I do, doesn't mean I love every single second of it. I still hate about 15%, some days even more. But that's okay. That's just how it is. I'd much rather film toilet products for a Charmin Ultra Strong than scan items at a hardware store, spending every single morning looking forward to lunch, every evening looking forward to going home, and every night dreading to go to work the next day. Now, I'm not throwing shit at anybody who works at a hardware store. There's honor in scanning items, it just wasn't for me. But the point is, I wouldn't know what I wanted to do if I didn't do something. So if you haven't already, Try out that new sport you think you'd be good at. Read that book that you think might help you. 
and apply for that job that can possibly open doors for you. Just try something. So look, it's okay if you don't have everything figured out. You have plenty of time to look for what you want and you're exactly where you need to be in life. So just take it easy and don't be so hard on yourself. Just like everybody else in this world, it's your first time living this life as well.